Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 31 bread and butter bolos coming your way. These items sold faster on eBay, and I had them cross posted to Mercari and Poshmark. So they sold faster on eBay, and I use List Perfectly to cross post. As you guys know, if you watch me, I love List Perfectly. And if you want to try it out, you can check out some of my how to videos on the channel. And you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon code CHA-CHING. I just sold something. Should we see what it is? Ooh, I sold cards. Oh, and a Christmas ornament. Hmm. Yay. Okay. Sorry. Had to take a break and see what I sold. If you're a reseller, you know that you got to take a break to see what the cha-ching was, right? Okay. So, um, sorry, I was talking about the coupon code. You guys are all like, what's the coupon code? So referral coupon code Bolo Buddies, one word will get you 30% off your first month of list perfectly. All right, let's get into some bread and butter bolos. I am your featured reseller. So I'm going to share with you my solds. Here is what sold on eBay. All right. Oops, I got to get my screen share up. I got distracted by that cha-ching. My goodness. Okay. It wasn't, it was just a bread and butter. Go figure. Okay. So the first item are these vintage Halloween jack-o'-lantern bag string lights. I picked these up at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold them for a best offer of $22 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these BOC shoes. Um, I don't know if it's pronounced Bach or BOC, but I picked these up at a garage sale for $3 and I sold them for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Boyd's Bear. Um, you guys know that I love selling plush Boyd's Bears. They do really well for me. A lot of people are like, no way, staying away from the Boyd's Bears, but I like them. Now this one is a major bread and butter. He's not very big. I sold him for $10 and I picked him up at a garage sale for $1 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this Jelly Cat Bunny Rabbit. It's plush, it's adorable. It's got those little flower ears, flower ears, floral ears, floral print. <laughs> and I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I took a best offer of 13 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage hard plastic sugar coated Christmas ornaments, which I think are amazing. Let me see if I can zoom in. I mean, just, so cute. I love the little horse. Uh, these came from a thrift store and I had about 50 cents in them. It came in like a group of ornaments and I lotted them in separate lots and I sold this for $30 and 80 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So if you guys are new to the channel, when I say bread and butter, those are items that I sold for $35 or less. I also have my big money below videos. If you are wanting to see things that sell for bigger money that are a little harder to find, you can check out one of those videos. Okay, so this canvas, it's called um, plastic canvas and it's for like uh, quick count cross stitch type stuff. I'm telling you what, this stuff sells fast. I don't know if I underpriced it, but I had a whole bunch of it that I picked up at a garage sale pretty cheap and it sold fast. Um, this sold for $17.60 and I had a dollar in all three sheets or well, it's 18 sheets, but all three packs. So the buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item I sold are these handmade brass and copper earrings. Um, I think they're handmade. I'm like almost 100% um, because you can see, I mean, they're, they've got to be handmade. I put handmade because I almost 99.9% .9 they are. But if you guys know for sure and you think I'm wrong, comment below. But that sure looks handmade. But they're really cool. These came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay and I took a best offer of $15 on these. The next item I sold is another item from my I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I bought 344 pounds of jewelry from a gal. <laughs> and if you want to hear about that story, you can check it out on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm trying to think. One of the videos says, how much did it weigh? You could find it that way but I weighed it all. I had no idea it was going to be 344 pounds. So it was crazy. But this necklace sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's really, really pretty. It's super long. It was a really, really nice necklace. 
The next item I sold is this Hello Kitty necklace and three pendant charms. This came from a bulk buy garage sale. Uh, I bought a bunch of jewelry at a garage sale. I actually thought this was going to sell a lot quicker. It took a while. I mean, I thought my picture was good and I'm like, why isn't it selling? But um, I ended up selling it for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. And I mean, I probably had less than 25 cents in all of it. The next item I sold, and I thought this was going to be like one of those home runs, you know, like Bolo, it's going to sell fast. It's going to sell for good money. It sold for decent money, but it did not sell fast. It's a vintage Bell Point uh, women's vest, and it's got these little Scotty dogs, and it was new with tags. I mean, it's way vintage and new with tags, and I'm like, come on, you know? I uh, ended up taking an offer of $20, and the buyer paid shipping. I picked it up in an estate sale. I think it was a dollar, if I remember correctly. The next item I sold are these Elsa and Anna slippers. These came from a garage sale. They were 50 cents. I sold these for $13.20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these um, Harry Potter hands. Uh, they're for a Halloween costume. And this actually came out of a box of Halloween items that I bought on auctions for you. It's a YouTube channel and they do YouTube auctions. And I bought, gosh, I think it ended up, I did an unboxing on my channel. You guys should definitely go check it out because I got a ton of stuff. And it was really inexpensive. I made a lot of money on the box. Um, I've done really well. But this is one of the items I sold. And these were just a bread and butter item. I sold them for $12.32 and the buyer paid shipping. So definitely go check out that video and check out auctions for you. There's a link down in the description of the video. The next item I sold is this Furby from 1998. I could not get him to wake up. So I sold him as not working. And he still sold for $23 and the buyer paid shipping. Ooh, guys, I just sold something on Mercari. Yeah. Okay, so you guys want to know what I sold? I sold some, I don't, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Is it, it's G-U-R-L-E-Y. They're candles. And you guys, this is a bolo. They sold for $80. Dollars and they will be in a video down the road. Um, 80 bucks for some candles, Christmas tree candles. So I'm pretty excited about that. That will be in my big money. Well, actually, it'll be in my Mercari video. And that is exactly why I cross post. That item is on eBay. That item is on Poshmark. And it sold for 80 bucks on Mercari. So for you guys that everybody tells you that everybody's so cheap on Mercari, the, that person didn't even make me an offer. They paid full asking price. So not everybody is cheap on Mercari. And I think the platform is kind of expanding now that um, sellers are coming from other platforms. I should say buyers because more people are selling on Mercari. So those people are becoming buyers on Mercari like myself. I love Mercari. Anyway, if you're not on Mercari, there's a link down below. If you guys use my link to sign up, I think they're doing, you'll get a $30 coupon. So check that out. All right, let's keep going here. And I hope I get more cha-chings. I'm pretty excited about this. All right, the next item is this Applause Llama plush. And it sold for $17.60. The buyer paid shipping. And that one came from a garage sale. And I bought all of the plush at the garage sale. So I probably have less than a dollar in this one. The next item, I believe this came from the garage sale where I got all, like, my whole car full free. Like they were just giving me everything that was left over at the garage sale. You guys got to go watch that video. I've probably made between five and $800 on the stuff I got free at that garage sale. It was no joke. It was um, right after the lockdown and they only had it one day and they were getting ready to move. So go check out that video. Unbelievable. Anyway, I sold this for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And if you watch that video, come back and let me know if this was one of the items that was at that um, at that garage sale. I think it was. The next item I sold is this Scooby-Doo meets Batman VHS. It was new and sealed. That's the only reason I bought it. And it sold for $10.56 and I paid 25 cents for it at a garage sale. The next item I sold are these Lennox Holiday Hostess Salad Serving Set. This came from a garage sale. I paid $1 and I sold it for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. 
Uh, here's another item from the I Got It Free Garage Sale. It's a vintage Halloween dragon costume mask. I, I just had a feeling it was going to be a bolo. And uh, it didn't do as well as I had hoped. I took a best offer of $25 and the buyer paid shipping. It's not bad for free, but, you know, it's really cool. The next item I sold is this, I think it's pronounced Lee Bien Angel Christmas Ornament. And it's like hand painted and I think they paint it from the inside. I'm not really certain, but it's really cool. It came from a garage sale. I believe it was 50 cents and I sold it for $11.65 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Kitty Christmas greeting cards. This was actually something my husband picked up. He picked up two of them. This ended up being a really long, long, long tail item. And it's super cute. You like um, get um, the yarn and you thread it through the card. You see the little holes. It's kind of hard to see. But super cute. Uh, the first one sold much faster. This one took a while and it sold for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these vintage um, Charlie McGee Christmas ornaments. They're sports themed. They're from 1983. They're awesome. And I sold these for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got to be honest with you, I don't know if this was a thrift store or a garage sale find. It's It's been a while. So they did take a while to sell, but pretty good profits. Okay, guys, this one is to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect to sell. Look at these things. I mean, they're a hot mess. They're broken. Yeah. And I still listed them. And they still sold for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. So I don't know if somebody wanted the case. I don't know if somebody wanted that like piece of glass. I have no clue, but they still sold for $18, but it's beyond me why. So um, those I believe came from a garage sale. Um, I bought a whole bunch of glasses. The next item I sold is this vintage angel tree topper. It's a uh, cartapesta, cartapesta or stiffened fabric. I love selling these angels. I find them all the time and they always sell well for me. But um, I took a best offer of uh, $20 on her and I can't remember where I got her. So sorry, but $20. I don't know if she was holding something, but I just showed a picture of it and she still sold for 20 bucks. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item I sold are these Cat's Meow. It's a lot of two. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you know about the Cat's Meow. I bought a whole bunch of Cat's Meow for 30 bucks. And when I say a whole bunch, I mean like three, four boxes. I can't remember exactly. But this set sold for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this statement piece pendant and it's got that little bit of abalone in it. Um, it's beautiful. I don't know. I didn't test it. I don't think it's silver, but gosh, who knows? It might be. I don't think it is. But it was just a really neat um, piece and it was actually pretty big. And this was a part of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I sold this for $32.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage um, Barbie. It's like a couture Barbie and it had no box. It was just as you see it. I mean, it's got part of the box, I guess. Um, this came from a garage sale. I went to it and they had a table, I'm telling you, full of Barbies. And I'm like, what do you want for all of them? And if you guys watch my channel, you know that I am like the bundle queen. I love to bundle. I go up to garage sales and I'm like, if I, can I make a pile or, you know, can you, are you more negotiable if I buy more, you know, stuff like that. So I bought all the Barbies. I think it came to like three or $4 a piece by the time it was said and done. And they've done really well. I sold this for $30 and 80 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Monsters Inc. University Rolla Scare Rides Sully's car. Sully is missing. It's just the car. So it's basically a replacement car. And, you know, I wasn't sure about this one, but I was like, you know what? It's going to take me like two seconds to list it. And I sold it and it sold pretty quick for $10 and 56 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage dollhouse miniature ceramic. Uh, it's either ceramic or porcelain. It's a bathroom set. Super cute. I picked it up uh, at a garage sale, a whole box of dollhouse furniture for seven or eight bucks, I think it was. And I took a best offer of $19 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this rocker wig, which was also a part of the mystery box that I got from Auctions For You. And I sold this for $13.20 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item I sold is this, oh, I'm going to totally say this wrong. Is it Yves Rocher? Coule I, I don't know. Something. You can see it. That's what it is. And it's an eyeshadow. And I have one left if anyone's interested. I sold this for $15.30. And the buyer paid shipping. And this came from a thrift store. It was brand new, unused, as you can see. And yeah, I said the buyer paid shipping. All right. And the last item, whoopsie, came from, let me get you zoomed in here. Um, that was from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I sold this for, sorry, I'm turning the page before I'm ready, $26.78 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's just really fun. And they did not come together. I just thought they kind of went together with the spikes and the skulls and it ended up working out. So one little tip I have is a lot of times people will ask the size of the bracelet. So I just throw a tape measure across it like that. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but that's what I did. So um, anyway, all right. So this is my bread and butter bolo video. There's going to be some videos popping up on either side of me and a subscribe button, I think, right here. If you can click on that, that would be awesome. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you hit that little bell, that will alert you when I post new videos. And definitely go check out that List Perfectly video if you haven't seen it. I think I have it set to pop up, but it's going to save you so much time. And you're going to make more money because you're going to be on more platforms. And it's awesome. Coupon code BOLO Buddies, one word, get you 30% off your first month. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And if not, just say hello. Give me a hi. That helps me in the algorithm. Thanks for watching. All right.